Hello, y'all. I'm back in my new Dargon <laughs> filming location. This is not what I expected when I said a change was going to come with the location. God dang. This is what I was expecting. I done got my backdrop in the mail and everything. I was fixing to do it up for the darn going uh, reunion for chasing Atlanta. But look like I'd be doing the reunion in the car. And probably makeup free. Good thing my skin is finally back together. I ain't got on no stitch of makeup today. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to apply some of the damn March child. Because y'all know I don't like doing shit when I'm darn going to stress. Uh, speaking of stress, honey, Macy Gray done got the community darn going up in arms, honey. And it couldn't have come at the most darn going convenient timing for a certain group of people. This is why I am not, this is why I really don't care about what Macy Gray had to say about the girls. Um, uh, who is Macy Gray to get this worked up over? Y'all is playing right into her darn going hands. This bitch darn going, because I done went and darn going, Y'all know how when you look at somebody's recent shit and it shows them previous stuff that or similar stuff from them. I'm she is a regular of Pierce Morgan of all people. That that should go on here and say something. You are the company that you would keep. And I, and I know y'all saying, well, why that you can't uh, hold her to that standard? You know, she she getting the interview. It's not the same as hanging out with them. But it's like, girl. Of all the black uh, black organizations you could have gone to since you so woke and activist and all this, that, and the third. It's like, you, you say you are activist of the community, but I don't think you've ever been on the T.S. Madison show. I don't think you've ever been on any... Why am I echoing? Let me turn my uh, thing down, because it sounds like I echoed just for a second. But it's like you've been on all these... Th you could have been on all these folks' shows. You want to go on hell to uh, fight soul, etc. Now, uh, to her credit, I think she was on the route. I, I give her that. But it's like you over there with Pierce Morgan's darn gone race, light, medium, racist ass. And then it's like, it's not what you say. It's how you say it. The attention behind it and the company that you keep and the timing of which you say it. Because, once again, ain't nobody debating what you said is wrong. Well, at least I'm not coming at it from that perspective. Um, but my issue is, during a time where our rights are about to be stripped away, and we're coming off the heels of darn going Pride Month, of all things, it's like, bitch, you decide now to darn going. Uh, bring up this divisive rhetoric and it's like what What was the reason of uh, of entertaining it now granted this is where I got to get in Pierce Morgan's ass because you didn't necessarily bring up I don't think she brought up the subject I think Pierce Morgan brought up the subject he know what he was doing with his crafty darn gonna crack a jerk ass but my thing is this why feed into it you should have said moving on and my thing is this, if that's the stance that you want to come at with it, okay, that's fine and dandy. You can have your stance. I'm not one of the girls that's trying to darn go and beat you upside the head and say, oh, this is why you should be like, uh-uh, fuck that. You is too grown and old. Macy Gray is damn near 60 years old if she's not 60. She looks good for her age, but that bitch ain't no spring cookie. I know she is at least in her 50s because she is friends with the... I know y'all saying, well, the grand dame is friends with people in their 30s, but honey, Macy Gray was around and old, older back when I was darn gone young. Macy Gray been around since the damn 90s and she was in her 20-somethings then. So I know at the minimum she's in her 50s. And she is too old to be having to learn shit in 2022. And then you have the darn gone audacity to call yourself an activist, an ally to the community. It's like, well, honey, with folks like you, who the hell needs enemies? With folks like you, who the hell needs enemies? You can have all of your thoughts. You can think that trans women are not real women and all this, that, and the third. You can be justified in your reasoning, but at the same time, do not darn go then turn around and say, oh, you for the community. It's like, now, now, bitch, pick a side now. Either you're going to be on this side or you're going to be on this side with it. 
don't, don't, don't straddle the fence. Uh -uh. If you want to be over there with the bullshit, be all the way over there. That, that's why I'm coming at it with it. All these folks there, and I include some clips. I, I, I seen Hope Giselle there going saying her piece right here. All of my cisgender women who have an issue, make it make sense. Because you're either going to fight for the right to have the body that you live in. Or you're going to fight for the right to be held bent on the idea of body parts making you who you are. But you can't have it both ways, sis. You can't have it both ways. Macy, you can't say that you're an advocate for the community. You can't say that nobody wants it more than you without understanding that your words on, your, on, the, on that national platform that you spoke them were going to put people in a space where they feel more emboldened to discuss hatred. A lot of y'all don't understand that some things are for the group chat. When we grew up, especially those of us who grew up in, in, in households of color, but especially the black people, we knew that you don't take family business into the street unless you're ready to fight. And then I seen Darn going flame and roll. The token coup. And see, this is what also caused the confusion. Because I, in one instance, I'd be like, well, Hope, why? I, I understand your ass is an activist and shit. I love you, girl. I got to get your other book that you just came out with not too long ago. But it's like, girl, why is you racing your breath? But then it's like, well, we need bitches like Hope Giselle to counteract old stinking trifling ass bitches. Like motherfucking Flame Monroe. Hey, Flame Monroe, I am a transgender woman or person however you describe it and this message is directly for macy gray macy gray i want to tell you out the words of my mouth from my portion of the lgbtqia plus community that i wholeheartedly support you and thank you for seeing the real world for what it is i do not believe that you are transphobic or homophobic or any other kind of phobic i believe that you know science and biology because here are the three things Gender is a fact. Identity is how you feel and sexuality is your desire. And you are absolutely right because until you have the heart and mind of a woman, I don't believe that you could ever possibly be a biological woman. Trans women are trans women. Trans men are trans men. Women are women and men are men. It is as simple as that. There shouldn't be any argument about this because here's because it's like, I, I understand where some of the confusion comes in because, you know, the big voices sometimes are not the Hope Giselles. Sometimes it's not the Angelica Rosses. Sometimes you get the shucking and jiving darn gone boot licking coons like damn Flame and Rose ass who is so desperate for a dollar, who is so desperate for her darn gone quick second of fame that she'll throw her whole so-called community that she's supposed to be with under the bus and then... She don't never really say nothing about us. Always coming down upon the community. But want to then also, she's another bitch that also wants to say she an activist. Bitch, when have you actually done something productive for the community? When have you actually been out there, been out there on the front lines for the community? When have you, now I will give her this. She has spoken out doing her little tea talks every now and again. But it's like, now, girl, you are not a flip-floppy-ass motherfucking old-ass hoe. I'm about sick and tired of her ass, too. Lord knows I'm with Hope Giselle. I have my ups and downs with Flame and Roe, mostly downs with her trifling ass. Because that's another old, tired, bitter bitch that's too old for this darn old shit to be carrying on. We in 2022, and we darn old still having these debates. And then, at, and once again, this is what I say. She did not say nothing that was darn on factually wrong. Trans women are trans women. We do not know nothing about giving no birth. We don't know nothing about no cycles. We don't know none of that. I give you that. You are biological women have a struggle that trans women will never have. But my thing is this. You know what you are doing when you are bringing up these conversations that you know that people are not just going to rationalize it like that and just keep it on on. You give somebody an inch, they take a mile. This darn going is the low key green light. The darn going try to throw a jagger at trans women. The darn going minimize the struggles that trans women are going through just because we don't have the issues of darn going 
uh, uh, you know, reproductive issues. That we don't have to worry about mortality rates in the hospitals and stuff. Just because we ain't dealing with the all of that, you want to minimize everything else that we're going through. You want to minimize that we are viewed outside of reproductive the exact same as women as far as the struggles, as far as being hired in the workplace, as far as workplace discrimination. Trans women are going to go through the identical darn on same process. And, and matter of fact, even worse, because when, once they clock your tea as a trans person, even if you get in the all woman business, honey, you darn going to look that even lower. They say black women is the bottom of the totem pole, bitch. We the damn saying. We ain't even on the totem pole. And once again, the timing of it all. Once again, you are the company that... You, it, it, it's not what you say. It's who you said it around. The intent behind it. We know the intent that darn going uh, uh, Pierce Morgan um, brought this up. Because in that same argument, nobody's even mentioned about the fact that uh, I, I, I give Macy this. She did bring up a point about why is you darn going to represent the flag that's outdated. The flag was during a time that represents war. And it, it, it's like you speaking. It doesn't make sense. You talking about the flag is a representation of America when really the flag that you worship that has the 34 stars is darn going symbolic of the damn war. That did not have shit to do in favorability for brown and black people. We was a secondary thought. Even Abraham Lincoln said if he could have did it without freeing the slaves, he could uh, he would have went that route. If he could have did it and freed all the slaves, okay, so be it. That wasn't somebody who was a full-on activist for the darn on folks. He did it as, okay, we were an afterthought. We were, okay, we were beneficial to his underlying thing, not out of pure archerism. Now, he did try to come up with, now I will give him this, he did come up with the Black Banks Institution and, you know, uh, getting us darn on economically funded, and then they just stripped that away and they assassinated him. Soon as they, soon as he started actually doing something productive for black people, that's when they got rid of his ass. The Civil War itself wasn't the darn going shit that was really going to set us free. Economic and financial freedom and independence because it's like, what you going to do with all these darn, what, what, what we going to do as black people? Okay, we free but we ain't got no money. We ain't got no institution. We we got to deal with all these crooked ass laws that don't want to give us no business loans, this, that, and the third. We can't uh, get no contractors to build our, our, our infrastructure or anything. So we essentially free as far as we no longer a uh, chain like cattle, but we now darn on poor and destitute in this darn on land that you brought us here. So Abraham Lincoln, I'm giving y'all a little history lesson, came up with the idea of, you know, putting money into the black banks and all of this, that, and the third. And then sure enough, even though within, I think they said, Within 10 years, we massed the equivalent of a trillion dollars and, um, you know, putting into the banks, honey, the, they came and took that from us. So even when we uh, call, they, uh, because they say we don't do shit, but they don't never point out the fact that when we had the bank institution, they took that from us. We had Wall Street, they took that from us. Anything we built on hell, even the White House that these motherfuckers darn going to get elected to. Wouldn't even be possible without the darn on backs of blacks. Let's not even go there. And us was there too as the LGBTs in the cut. Fast forward to darn on civil rights. You with darn on Martin Luther King. You got the right hand man to Martin Luther King that they don't like to talk about, uh, Brian Rustin. They don't like to talk about darn on Sylvia Rivera. They don't like to talk about Marsha P. Johnson. Who played an instrumental part in the Stonewall riots? And the list just goes on and on of where we as LGBTs and black people have darn on been together side by side fighting the darn on issue simultaneously. And then we allow both the crooked parties, the Democrats ain't no better either. We allow Democrats, Republicans to do these darn on politic games of dividing us apart, separating us. 
and this, and this is why they are able to pass the crooked laws that we uh, that they are doing, and and we essentially don't do them because they darn going do these sort of theatrics and darn going have us fighting against each other. It's like why is y'all giving this rusty darn going raspy tone bitch the time of day doing this time? Why is y'all making her relevant? Because at the end of the day, this is the playbook that these darn on tired motherfuckers do. I don't peep game. Bitches like her, Cadness Owens, Stacey Dash, who nobody was checking for, who nobody was even thinking about them, they darn going to start going on to these Republican shows. Some of them start turning Republican conveniently. They start doing these token talking points to get them out in the forefront. And then they get their relevance from people that are going latching on to these uh, ideological views, not even for what you are. Because the gag is people, all these folks agreeing with Macy, half of them didn't even know who Macy was. Talking about they just checking out her music just because of this darn going, she seemed like a genuine good person off of calling out the trans community. Don't that sound very familiar? It sounds very much like darn on Dave Chappelle, how he keeps doing them darn on gay jokes and darn on uh, bringing up trans topics and shit at his darn on comedy skits and because the polarizing and the newsworthiness that it's going to get is just going to draw some more attention to him and get him uh, get him some funding for a certain base because under any other circumstances, they shit ain't hitting on nothing. Now, I know in Dave Chappelle's case, he's a little bit different because he already had some money. He's pretty much set for life. But nobody wasn't really checking for Dave Chappelle. When he was gone for 10 years, wasn't nobody was like, well, where is Dave Chappelle? It was nice to see him come out of retirement. But I, I didn't hear no overwhelming demand for no Dave Chappelle to come back. Dave Chappelle ain't never had the impact like motherfucking... And I, yeah, I'm going to go there. Dave Chappelle wasn't no motherfucking Bernie Mac. Hell, Dave Chappelle wasn't even no Cedric the Entertainer, if you ask me. Dave Chappelle wasn't even no Dave. Hell, I give it to Steve Harvey. And Lord knows Steve Harvey be shucking and jiving. But hell, Steve Harvey being more relevant than damn Dave Chappelle. And I dare somebody to argue me on that point. Wasn't nobody darn on stunting Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle is an okay darn on comedian at best. Who just happens to have tenure. He didn't start to really darn on get up there. Until he started talking about these darn on trans and uh, gay jokes. And then once again. It's the manner of which you say it. And it's the underlining intent. Because I'm not saying as a comedian. You can't say no nothing about the community. Because one of my favorite comedians is darn on some more. And y'all yeah, know how some more used to go in on the gays back in the day honey. Monique too. But once again. It's the underlining intent. And the style of which you say the joke. Now going over back to Macy Gray. Macy Gray. She got an album coming out again. That nobody wasn't thinking of. Nobody wasn't caring for. And she said the last time she was on Pierce Morgan. Her sales went up 23,000%. Now I didn't even go to see what her album sales was looking like. But the fact that she ain't made no mainstream news, I know she ain't hit no platinum. Because as a neo soul singer, if if those types of if for her to go up that much of a percentage, and she didn't hit the news, that means okay, nobody wasn't buying your albums before, and twenty three thousand percent is just pretty much you went from selling one to two albums a month to that particular month you sold maybe twenty three thousand units. That bitch ain't gone gold, little long platinum. Hell, I'll be uh, shit. I, I I would go as far as to say even her entire discovery, it wouldn't shock me if her entire discovery hasn't gone platinum. And now, here everybody talking about her. She getting all this damn free press. She getting all the folks like Hope and Darn going, uh, I, I just heard on Comedy Hike. T.S. Madison done respond. I ain't even had a chance to see what T.S. Madison respond. But at this point, it's like, why is we giving this bitch all this relevance and clout that she do not need? Who is she? I don't give a damn if she, uh, if her intent was nasty. Now, do I think she's an outright transphobic bitch? No. 
I think she was somebody who ultimately got played with her dipsy darn on wannabe woke ass. She darn going uh, is now leveraging this a little bit to darn going revive her darn going non-existent music career because nobody is stunting Macy Gray in 2022. Macy Gray, once again, there are different types of legends. Macy Gray, I wouldn't even really consider a legend. What has her music done? to really garner her legendary status. I'm tired of motherfuckers getting the title of legend just because your ass been around for 20 years. It's like, even if your shit is not hitting, like once again, Diana Ross shit ain't hitting, but Diana Ross ain't got to make not nail another song because her shit has lasted the test of time. She has put out enough classes where we can say Diana Ross is Diana Ross. Diana Ross ain't had nothing in 20 years relevant. But she herself is relevant. She is the icon. I can't give Dargon Macy Gray that. Macy Gray and no part of her career has ever done nothing equivalent to a that of a Aretha Franklin, a Dargon Pat LaBelle, a, a Prince, a Michael Jackson, a Stevie Wonder. Hell, it, it, we go down into the 80s and 90s, um, a Janet Jackson, um, Madonna, we go into the 90s. We got Darn on uh, TLC. We got Destiny's Child. We got Beyonce on her own. Once again, all people, Tony Braxton, the brat. When we go to Macy Gray, can y'all name me five Macy Gray songs off the top of your head? Don't Google search it. Tell me five Macy Gray songs off the top of your head. We know her for that one hit, and that is it. And hell, I can't even think of the name of the one hit right now, if you, <laughs> to be honest with you. But now we giving this bitch all this motherfucking press. Because she uh, she has her opinion on trans women. Now they done said now she done apologize and shit because now she done felt the wrath of the community. Fuck that shit. Stand in your darn on original thoughts on. Stand in your original flip floppy ass thoughts. You call yourself talking about the girls like Dave Chappelle and them do. The darn gonna get your little darn on sales and shit up from a certain base. Cause nobody wasn't studying your darn going on uh, music or nothing. And um back because you, now you don't seem the long term that this was going to darn going to work against you. All of a sudden now you want to play nice and darn going to apologize. Uh-uh. Keep that same darn going deposition. Keep that same darn going statements because that's what you really meant. And once again, what you said was not wrong. It's just the timing, the company that you said it, the circumstances of which you said it. The underlining intent of what you said is what makes the shit fucked up. And the fact that people are, lack, are lacking critical thinking skills and not seeing the bigger picture that is beyond what she said is darn gone bothering me. The fact that people are giving more press right now to darn on Macy Gray, an irrelevant bitch that does not affect your daily life and now don't even affect you musically because ain't nobody playing that bitch's shit. She ain't no Beyonce. She ain't no Tina Turner. She ain't no Michael Jackson. Ain't nobody playing this bitch shit. So ain't nobody even stunting her on a music level, let alone a political level. So she does not affect nobody's day-to-day -day life, but y'all are giving this bitch all these back and forth darn on. Y'all having Instagram lives. Hope, I love you, girl, but why is you over there darn on entertaining bullshit talking about you want to talk to people who darn on have these thoughts about, uh, trans folks not real women and all this bullshit when we are in the midst of having our rights about to be stripped away why am i not hearing all this news in regards to clarence thomas y'all was on it for the first a uh, few days but now y'all don't allow this shit to distract y'all see this is why we can't get nowhere we're so easily distracted by darn gone superficial shit why is we giving Macy Gray all this and now I'm going to took our eyes off the folks who really affect our day-to-day -day lives? And you would think that we would already be more on guard considering that we've seen how ignorant the Democratic Party was. These motherfuckers had a whole month in advance. This is why I say Democrats ain't shit. 
Democrats don't give a damn about nobody but the motherfucking sales. Y'all lazy bitches had a whole month. These motherfuckers literally leaked their darn on plan of what they was about to do with rolling back women's rights. They've been telling you that they want to do this shit for years. And even when y'all get in a position of power, and I, 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 I come on with it in the comment section. Because I know some of y'all diehard Democrats going to have some shit to say. But my thing is this. you Once again, even when you have positions of all three parts of the darn going uh, <clears throat> branches, the judicial, the legislational, the executive, and I know I mispronounced the other one, but, you know, charge it to the pronunciation. I'm a Southern bitch. Even when we have control as, as the so-called Democrats, right? Y'all still allow shit like this to go through. And y'all can say, oh, well, this happened because of uh, Trump darn going, uh, was able to put in the Supreme Court. And y'all want to blame folks for not retiring early the, where uh, Obama could have put some folks in. Who was Obama going to put in? Number one, they was already blocking his darn goings. Uh, they already forbid him from um, putting in any more prior to the election. And then it's like, not that it would have mattered because he, how conservative he is and how darn going established he is, he wouldn't have put in nobody. And darn going Joe Biden only put in the darn going um, Miss Jackson for darn going appearance purposes. Now, hopefully she is really for the darn on people as a black, dark skinned darn on woman. But honey, the way that these folks move, and honey, all skin folk ain't kin folk. If Obama ain't showing you that shit, I don't know what's, what's going to wake you up at this point. She's the first black woman to get up in there. Hopefully she's the first black person. Uh, hopefully she's the first black person to actually do something for us. Because honey, look what they did with Clarence Thomas. Clarence Thomas was one of the ones that rolled women right on back. But my thing is this. The news leaked a month in advance. You had a whole month to come out with some sort of executive order. Congress had a whole month. It's like y'all have control of the Senate. You have control of the House of Representatives. Y'all are able to darn gonna do away with the filibuster so y'all wouldn't have to darn gonna have a 60% uh, percent requirement for certain things. Mitch McConnell's no longer in power. And yet y'all ass still, even with a whole month's notice, allow for the Supreme Court to just easily overturn Roe versus Wade. And now they talking about getting rid of gay marriage. They talking about darn on sodomy laws. So even if darn on gay men or trans women are engaging in sex, y'all want to now make it illegal where people can be put in prison for consensual sex under sodomy laws and if y'all thinking that this shit is crazy look what they doing in Texas this is why I say pay attention to all of your darn gone laws pay attention to your local politics and shit as well because when y'all believing down in Texas they trying to make it where it's illegal to masturbate because they are so they are so desperate to darn going get their numbers back up and reproduce. They're trying at all costs to force people to have babies. Uh, they want you to because there was no provisions in this overturning Roe versus Wade. There was no stipulations for people who are um, people who have been molested. People who are carrying a baby that will not darn going be able to survive. Because as uh, soon as they passed the law, there was a news article that broke where a woman came in. She was having an atopical pregnancy. Her life was in danger. She wasn't just getting an abortion, just the darn on willy-nilly getting an abortion. Her life was literally in danger. And because of the way that y'all signed the law into motions, the doctors couldn't do nothing at the moment. They, they on the phone with the lawyers and shit trying to figure out how can we darn on... Now you darn gonna put doctors in a situation where they darn gonna gonna allow a woman just to die before their eyes because it would be illegal for them to perform the abortion now. But the woman's life is literally at risk of dying. And then they said something about the, the she had a rupture, the baby darn gonna die anyways. And at that point, 
uh, you know, they they was able to go in, and she barely made it. But it's like, why did it get to that point where the where it had to go into a full on rupture, where now the woman is probably darn on fully scarred for life because she probably was somebody that might have wanted to have a baby in the future because they she got pregnant. It just happened to be an atopical pregnancy. Now I'm no doctor. She might have darn on been able to, under ideal circumstances, if they was able to perform a safe abortion at that moment. They probably could have saved her, you know, reproductive um, or, you know, her reproductive, you know, stuff where she would be able to care. But I think at that point, they had no choice but to do a full on hysterectomy on her. But once again, don't y'all. Um, I'm not fully sure on the Pacifics all that, but I want to say they ended up having to do a whole hysterectomy on her at that point when that all could have been avoided. But once again, Texas don't mind if you darn going got molested by your uncle. Because once again, they ain't nothing. Because they leaving it to the states individually. And Texas is so darn going corrupt where even if the uncle molested you, even if you're a traffic victim. And for po folks who say, well, that, th those don't only count for about 10% of the... Because I, I hear some Republicans talking about, well, that only counts for like 10% of all abortions. The mass majority of abortions is people who are just being reckless. Okay, let's say if, if that's true. Why should the 10% have to suffer from the 90%? Why not darn going still allow stipulations where the 10% will still be able to to get abortions under the circumstances of which they're under. They don't make no sense for y'all saying, oh, well, it's only 2%. There's only 10% of people who actually need a, uh, who were raped or molested. Okay, if that's the case, why not just simply allow the stipulation? Why are you making it where nobody under any circumstances can have an abortion, even if a woman's life is in danger? And the fact that a Republican darn going a uh, Supreme Court justice darn going uh, signed up off only somebody who's of childbearing age is even appalling to me. And then we're not even going to get into the separation of church and state and the hypocrisy of that and how y'all darn going keep putting these because the uh, it all goes back down to biblical principles. I did, you can't put no legal justification on it. It always come back to some sort of biblical reference. But we supposed to be a, a America where we re represent everybody's religion. And, and you know, it's supposed to be a separation of church and state. But anytime y'all keep coming out with these darn old laws, it always go back to that damn Bible. But how does this tie into Macy Gray? Because once again, they done gave us the playbook on they're trying to roll back LGBT rights and this. So during the time where we, as a minority of people, if you're not an old, privileged, rich, white man, they taking away all of our rights. So during a time where we all need to be darn on coming together and putting our uh, issues aside, y'all want to have all these back and forths. Y'all trans women against darn on cis women and all this again. This is the time that y'all want to have these darn on arguments and discussion as we are darn on having our shit roll back to civil rights and hell. Why Clarence Thomas darn on chuckling so happy. I wonder how he going to feel when they darn on decide to go. Because once again, this is what black people don't understand when you darn gonna go over there to the Republican side. Your number always eventually comes up. And if you don't believe me, ask Stacey Dash. Ask Stacey Dash when her number came up. So with that being said, and it don't matter if you're dark skinned or like because honey darn gone Stacey Dash, I think she's biracial. Light skin, light brown skin or whatnot. Light brown skin or whatnot. And they still was at, when her number came up, when it when it when she was going through a domestic violence dispute with her white husband and them white children that was darn on whooping up on her, even though she was the one that called the police, she was the one that was in danger. Honey, look who they ended up taking out and arresting though. Even though she had video evidence of them darn gonna coming at her, honey, they still took her a black ass. 
They didn't give a damn that she was biracial. They didn't give a damn she was an established actress. They didn't give a damn she was a Fox News contributor. They didn't give a damn she was down going on clueless and all this. Honey, your ass was clueless that your number will eventually come up too. So while Clarence Thomas is rolling everybody's rights back, I'm sure he'll be the one Republican vote that would darn gonna be against darn gonna Plessy versus Ferguson getting overturned and shit. Oh, but best believe they'll probably come uh, trying to do away with interracial marriage nits. The only way that I can see them probably keeping that around is for the darn going survival of because once again their genetics it seems like they're not being able to produce children on their own, and they are promote some of them are promoting the interracial relations because they know they can you know indoctrinate the psychology of the biracials the darn going mix with white people again and then bring them bring the whiteness back because some folks keep saying the browning of America that black people keep populating with darn on white people, we're going to eradicate them bullshit. Because what ends up happening is your biracial children ends up falling in love with white people as well. And then next thing you know, it breathes back down to what they naturally is. Because white people typically in the South tend to have about 10, 15% black DNA. That's not talked about. Just like we tend to have upwards of 25% white DNA, Honey, some of them have about 10 to 15% black DNA. So with that being said, <clears throat> they're just going to use our genetics just enough to darn going to strengthen them up, to darn going to keep their ass around. And it browning my motherfucking ass. And then my thing is this, with the, with our darn going to uh, mix his offsprings that darn going to be siding with the bullshit, how in the hell are we going to take over anything? Hell, even within the pe folks that's fully black, you see how divided we are. How the hell are we going to take over shit? Even when we get a black president, where did we go? Where did we go? We got a darn on so-called black vice president. Where where have we gone? Under a female wannabe black darn on vice president because the bitch is mostly Asian. She's still a person of color, but she ain't no black woman. But... Even on a so-called black woman president, honey, you Roe Ro versus Wade done got rolled back, but I don't see no type of darn going upsetness in her voice or anything. It's like, oh, we just just casual on the shit. Matter of fact, I think she just had a darn on interview with darn on Kiki Palmer. Where these bitches darn on so dipsy. They didn't even darn on realize that they were sitting um, behind a darn on um, projecting of the... Y'all know how they do the projecting of whatnots. Damn, I can't speak wolf a damn, y'all. That's okay because these motherfuckers can't spell wolf shit. Because whatever you call it, the darn on um, the graphic or whatnots that was behind them, honey, they done spelled Louisiana wrong. I'm like these bitches. You 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 elect these motherfuckers into the highest highest positions of the land, and I know y'all saying, "Well, Kamala ain't had nothing to do with that," but it's like, girl, you ain't looked back not one time and realized the darn on error. Now we pointed out darn going Donald Trump's darn on bullshit and not knowing Hawaii was part of the 50 continental United States was good for the goose, is good for the gander. Uh. We want to call out your ignorance too, because I think at the bare minimum, if you want to be a vice president or a president, you should know the the spelling of during on major cities such as Louis or, or states such as Louisiana. Like that 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 shit was ridiculous within itself. But once again, I'm trying to figure out why in the hell, once again, with a Democratic darn on president, a Democratic majority Senate. And a house, our darn on stuff is still getting stripped back. But y'all talking about go out and vote. Go out and vote. But this is the ultimate example of when you vote darn on blindly blue, don't nothing come through. When you vote blue, not shit come through. And before y'all Republicans get to jumping in happy because I got some Republican followers, honey, I'm not saying go to the party either because neither one of them are for black folks. 
The only uh, difference is with Republicans is they'll stab you in the heart. Darn going uh, Democrats, they'll feed you darn going antifreeze and some lemonade and they're going to act like they darn going to uh, crunch in your thirst, but they slowly poison you to your death, honey. And this ain't nothing new. This ain't just these folks, although some of the folks, this is another problem. Some of these folks have been around since darn going uh, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Day. Because we keep blindly voting these sorry ass motherfuckers in here because we keep darn on thinking, oh, Democrats gonna do something, Democrats gonna do something, Democrats gonna do something. But my thing is this, we don't have uh, seen time and time again where they ain't done nothing. Cause hell, even under Obama, Obama had, I think the first four years where it was a Democratic Senate in the house and then he had the 60% majority. So even with the filibuster in place, there was enough Democrats to override the filibuster. So even when you have a situation where you have a full Democratic darn gone house, a Democratic Senate with a darn gone filib uh, filibuster proof majority, and and then they darn gone said on the Young Turks, right? that uh, Obama had the executive authority to implement something where the Supreme Court wouldn't have been able to do something like this. And with the support of the House of Representatives and the darn on Senate, which once again was all Democrat, this would have, we wouldn't even have to worry about this. And they even pulled up tapes of where he ran and said that was going to be one of his first things to do. And then as soon as he got his ass up in office, he darn on said, oh, well, this ain't important. We don't got to worry about this. This ain't a major issue. So women's darn on reproductive rights, women's darn on health ain't a major issue. Because you think that they will not darn on roll back uh, a president such as Roe versus Wade. Even though they've been telling you that's what they were going to do. So once again, why is we darn going to still blindly voting darn on blue? Why is it we not entertaining um, voting independent for people? And when I say independent, I don't necessarily mean the independent party. Because when you see what Bernie Sanders is on. Now, Bernie is a little bit better. But Bernie Sanders is ultimately with the bullshit too. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is with the bullshit. That's why I say don't blindly vote for no party. When I say vote independent, I mean vote for Democrats, vote for Republicans, vote for a Green Party, vote for the Liberation Party, vote for the Green Tea Party, vote for anybody who's there going uh political views lines up with not only your own but for the betterment of all of America because sometimes we be self-centered and be thinking about just ourselves because when it comes to reproductive rights ain't none of them bitches can darn go and birth no children the majority of the people in the second uh in in, in the darn going uh, um on the supreme court is men You only got one woman up there that can darn go and actually give birth to uh, to a child. And the fact that she voted with them is just beyond me, honey. But yeah, y'all, this is why I say, honey, this, if this ain't a wake-up call for us to darn go and do away with darn on this two-party establishment, because once again, why in 2022... We are still entertaining darn on uh, this two-party system. And they done shown you time and time and time again, neither the, neither the two parties is for us. None of the two parties is for us. You're just choosing whether you want to get stabbed in the heart with the Republicans or you want to die slowly by anti-freeze with the darn on Democrats. And then y'all always want to quote darn on Dr. Martin Luther King and darn on uh, use that same speech as if that's the only speech that he had. Notice that they don't never bring up the uh, 
the speech about he led his people into a burning building. They don't never bring up the darn going speech about how he mentioned about how Democrats, white liberals, are worse than darn going Republicans. Darn going, Dr. Martin Luther King said that shit way back in the 60s before he was assassinated. The most peaceful darn going um, one that they say, right? He's so peaceful, but, but y'all arrested him numerous times. Y'all arrested his ass numerous times, though, because of, but he was so peaceful. So that goes to show that even when you're not darn going to be in quote unquote violent and destroyed because y'all get y'all get on Black Lives Matter for fucking up the city. And yeah, there's some validity to that. And it's like, well, if you're going to fuck up some shit, go, go to the uh, folks' neighborhoods that's darn going to cause this issue. Fuck up their damn shit. Don't go, don't, don't, don't work yourself backwards and fuck up your own neighborhood because they're already trying to darn going to find a way to gentrify your shit and darn going to get your black ass out. And you make it easy by darn going to lighten the match your damn self and burning your own shit to the ground. So, yeah, there is some validity with that about y'all motherfuckers need to stop darn going, turn down your neighborhoods and stuff. Yeah, you can say, well, we don't own our neighborhoods. This ain't ours and shit. But, bitch, you ain't got nowhere else to go. Don't fuck yourself up and darn gonna destroy the place that you got to live at until you find somewhere else to darn gonna move to first. If you're gonna darn gonna protest, protest smartly now. But even with Martin Luther King, the, the most peaceful protester, Soon as he started talking about reparations, because he was on the reparations, he was talking about reparations even back then. Reparations and all of that, they darn going. He, next thing we know, it was a bullet in his head. And then there's talks that it was one of us that darn going played a key part in the assassination. Once again, all skin folk ain't kin folk. So bring it on back to darn on Macy, darn on tired ass gray. One more time. Like I said, in the day and age where the Supreme Court is trying to roll all our rights back, y'all need to leave Macy Gray where she be with her darn on non-existent, darn on flop ass music career, her non-legendary status ass career. Cause once again, I don't know why people keep calling that bitch once. Okay, I know I'm sounding like a broken record now. But it's just, it's just mind-boggling. Macy Gray, of all people. Not that it would have been made it either, any better coming from somebody like a Michael Jackson or a Beyonce. Oh, I would have really been up in arms if, if Beyonce said some foolish shit like this. But it's like y'all darn gonna giving all this press to an old non-relevant darn on bitch that don't have no type of and, like, like, and once again it would be different if it was Beyonce because Beyonce has more darn on uh, vocal power and not just vocal you know musically but she has more influence than literally the president of the United States like her voice is going to reach across the world way faster than anything that darn on Joe Biden is saying so if she was saying some fucked up shit, then I can say, oh, hell no. Now, B, I love you, but girl, we going to have to go ahead and cancel you, honey. We going to have to go ahead and, you know, I'm, I'm still going to keep your music and shit. You ain't done nothing diabolical like darn on R. Kelly, but uh, yeah. You ain't done nothing diabolical like R. Kelly, but yeah, we going to have to do away with you, child. Oh shoot, my darn on nighttime filter done came on. It's seven o'clock, y'all, at the time that I'm recording this. Oh shit, how can I take oh there it go. But that is it, y'all, because now I'm darn on just rambling and repeating myself. But y'all know sometimes some of y'all skip through certain parts of the video so it works out for the best. So if y'all, you know, skip through it the first time, saying it multiple times across multiple points of the video, y'all y'all want to at least get the information at least one time. But yeah, y'all, that's my darn on thoughts on um, Macy Tired Ass Grey Child.
And hell, I guess y'all got a two for one because I get I just threw on threw in the darn on whole situation of what my thoughts is about Clarence Thomas and them and rolling back our rights. So like I said, that's who we should be darn on arguing with and pissed off with. That's who you should be darn on trying to get out. Well, we can't get him out of office. Um but the ones that's responsible for putting him there, oh, we can get his ass out. And yes, I was a darn on Hillary supporter in 2016, but her ass ain't the darn on answer too, because they darn on toting a, 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 a Hillary for 2024 run. No. Hillary ain't the answer. Bernie Sanders, your ass done already tried darn on not once, not well, no, he didn't run in 2008, but bitch, you done ran, you done ran twice too and failed. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to end it here. Or not. Okay, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and end it here because I don't want to go too far off into another subject. I wanted to stick mostly to Mason Gray, but like I said... That Clarence Thomas situation is something more major. Like I said, we need to be giving this darn on energy to the people who actually darn on affects you day to day. And this is why, I, this is why I hate that darn on Andrew Yang didn't get elected because, honey, Andrew Yang was on the money when he came when he said that there should be term limits for darn on the sec for the whoever we get into the darn on presidency, honey, we need to hold them to the. Because I don't think Andrew Yang is going to ever run again. But, honey, I do wholeheartedly believe at this point, honey, this is why darn on term limits should be put in place. This is why we should go on here and have some term limits. Because the fact that we can't, we, we got to allow these folks to sit on this darn on bench for the rest of their lives. Making darn on decisions, it's like it's ridiculous. Unless they stay, unless they per, unless they darn on resign. Or do something diabolical, and you know how crafty these motherfuckers is. They ain't going to darn gonna be sloppy enough like our darn on President Trump. And even with the president being sloppy, is that it, it, you got to go through so many crooked channels to get somebody darn on removed? It's like even if somebody's guilty of a high crime that it, that will warrant for them to be darn on uh, taken out of their position, they still remain. That's why I say this darn on establishment has too much power. If you so much as darn gonna do some minor fuck shit in your entry level job or even your corporate job, you can easily be darn gonna get kicked out. But when you have the highest positions of the land, when you have the presidency, the vice president shit, you can darn gonna be fully guilty of a darn gone crime and you got to be pretty much tried and removed by folks who share your same crooked level sentiment. That's why I say it, it, it's not just as simple as, oh, voting for your president. Honey, you got to get rid of all of them. You got to get rid of all. We got to, we got to clean house. And I'm talking about blue, red, uh, some of the independents too, honey. Because like I said, Bernie Sanders and AOC ain't doing shit. And y'all darn gone arguing back and forth about this Macy Gray bullshit, honey. I, and this, this is my first, and probably this is why it's so long, because I'm not addressing Macy Gray no more. If she come back out with some bullshit similar to, I'm not talking about Macy no more. She she ought to be glad that she getting this one video, and the only reason she getting this one is for me to, uh, to express the importance of the folks that you should be darn gonna, really darn gonna be mad at. Macy Gray is nobody to even give a thought to. This bitch is completely irrelevant. Who gives a damn? Who? Well, hell, obviously y'all giving a damn. But my thing is, y'all shouldn't. Why is y'all giving a damn about a bitch who does not darn gonna have no type of influence, no type of power, but I am hearing nothing but crickets when it comes to Clarence Thomas, when it comes to President Obama, because yeah, his ass done gone off and signing book deals and darn going going to Netflix, but I think somebody should drag his ass out of security and hold his ass accountable for his bullshit. Y'all want to talk about old people sitting their ass at home and this is the, the results of the 2016 motherfucking election. People sat they oh, and I, you know what? I'm, 
y'all hold on to that thought because that's going to be a whole video within itself. I'm going to gather the motherfuckers who keep toting that point about folks uh, sitting their ass at home, which is pretty much a damn lie. But, um, yeah, somebody need to get on, get a bombers out of security. We need to hold everybody accountable for this bullshit. We need to do a whole massive darn on clean house. We need a whole new Congress and don't stop there because your local politics, because once again, when it comes to the, the, the interpretation of these laws and shit, your state is going to affect you quicker than the federal, but your federal is what darn on is really fucking us all up. So we need to hit this from many different points. You need to get your darn on. We need to clean house with your state judges, your darn on deputies. Your secretary of schools, the darn going um, president, House of Representatives, and the the list goes on and on. But like I said, we'll have another video about this. Uh, but those are my thoughts, y'all. Y'all leave y'all thoughts down below. I know this was very long. I'm tired. It doesn't help that I'm darn going in this darn going car. But honey, I had to get the message out of some way, even if it's in this darn on to merge with circumstance that I'm in, honey. I'm just over it. It seems like low. I talk more about it in a different video. Um, that is it.